Hello and thank you for joining us today. Uh, today we have Luis Flores, the Executive Vice President of our agency, SCAN. So, Mr. Flores, what are the requirements for somebody seeking treatment services? Okay, so if um, people already came and, and uh, most likely they are screening, they qualify for treatment, uh, some things are required because we are, our program is funded uh, through the state, uh, and then we also also some of, uh, parts of the treatment are also funded by the federal government. So we have some requirements. No, no, requirement number one is they need to be residents of Texas, so they need to have uh, an address here in Texas. The second one is that they what we call medically indigent. It means that they don't have any type of insurance, uh, with the exception of Medicaid. We do take Medicaid, but they mustn't but not have any uh, type of insurance. If they come for a screening and they have insurance, then we'll have to refer them to uh, a, a provider that does take insurance. But this, this, the services are specifically for uh, people who don't have means to pay. Um, so that's that's one of the, the some of the basic requirements. The other requirements is that they're willing to come to treatment and that they're willing to. Uh, give it the best try possible, you know, that they put all the energies into it. For teenagers, um, you know, most likely teenagers come here because the parents bring them to us. They, they're, many times they, they're not the ones who are uh, seeking treatment. So what we want in that case, um, uh, the, the adolescent has to agree also, but we're going to need uh, the consent from the parents to participate in treatment. And that, those are basically uh, their requirements. Yeah, so basically that they're Texas uh, residents yes. and that they're indigent. It, exactly, that's, that's basically it, and willingness to participate. Willingness. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.